Sherry Ann Richardson from Experimental Homesteader, Exotic Gardening, SherryAnnRichardson.com, and BioannualBlogathonPage.com. I'm sorry I'm kind of out of breath today. Um, we have been working upstairs trying to clean up the other room, which is going to be Jeff's Civil War room. And it's pretty dusty up here. And Jeff and I both have allergies and issues, so... Again, I'm sorry, but it is what it is. Um, since Jeff has been talking about getting this room done, and so have I for a long time, it's not done, but it's 90% done. So I thought I would give you a visual walkthrough. I'm standing in the doorway. Um, so we're just going to walk in. Um, like I said, not completely done, but close enough. Um, one of my homemade Raggedy Ann's on a rocking horse. And then we come up above, and you can see a shelf with quite a few Raggedy Ann's. Um, I'm going to go closer so you can see the smaller ones. Um, the Raggedy Ann earring holder I know is older. I'm not sure how old, but I know older. Um, the sequin ones are Snowden, and I believe those are from the 90s, so not real old. But I believe this cardboard picture set up here is older. Um, I seem to remember from when I was a kid. I also wanted to be sure that you saw, um, again, this is a Snowden blanket, but super cute. I am looking for the Andy doll that goes with this photo. Um, it was a 2002 release. I have Anne. I'll show you in just a moment, but I do not have Andy. So when I find Andy, he's going to sit right here beside Anne. I did have Jeff build in a dresser. I do not have the knobs painted, but there are knobs. Um, as you can see, we've got a little paint and stuff on the floor that we've got to clean up. But again, like I said, almost but not quite done. This is from a tour of homes that happened in Indianapolis, Indiana in 1998. I'll go up here and show you these plates. Uh, this is Mother's Day 1979 and Christmas 1977. The lamps, uh, Jeff has to fix the Raggedy Ann one, but we've got the parts to do that. It's just the part that holds the uh, light bulb. So we'll get that done. Um, this is a radio, and I know I had one of these when I was a child, so I know that's pretty old. Um, the same thing with both of these items over here. Uh, this is a toothbrush and toothpaste holder. And then this is what you would actually set on a high chair and press down for a child to play with. Um, I have some different books and some different ceramics. More books, more ceramics down here. Um, I need to set the three up, I guess. Um, there we go. And then a few more ceramics here. Jeff doesn't have the back on this bookcase yet. Um, but like I said, there's a few things left still to do, and I'm not complaining at all. I'm just letting you know kind of what's going on. These are some newer Raggedy Ann and Andy's, but the sleeping bag, which is what I'm using for bedspread, was one like... I had one like this when I was a child, so I know it's fairly old. Um, the crocheted blanket was done by my Grandma King. It's a child-sized blanket, and it was mine. Up here on the wall, um, I know there's some reflection, and I'm sorry. Um, it happens. But these are some different uh, photos. The rocking chair here was bought for me when I was a child, and that was, I'm not going to tell you when that was, but anyway, it's old. The big Raggedy Ann here is the one I was in search of that I actually have an unboxing video for. She was given to me as a child in the 70s, so she is old. Um, I found this footstool, which I thought was kind of cute. And then if you come over here, I've got Quite a few different uh, Raggedy Ann and Andy's. I've got the camel. 
The Raggedy Ann and Andy behind the camel is part of that set. I've got some smaller ones down here. Um, it was interesting trying to fit all of this in with the way this room uh, sets at an angle. But we did the best we could. This picture, this little girl is Marcella, um, which was Johnny Gorell's daughter. And she's holding Raggedy Ann and... I believe those are some flowers. Um, the TV here is from 1968. It is black and white. It is a tube TV. And it belonged to my grandma and grandpa King. This is the commemorative stamp Raggedy Ann. And she is, of course, in that picture up there. And then this is actually a Raggedy Ann and Andy toy box that these dolls are sitting on. I don't know if I can get down here. And no, it's going to be too dark. Anyway, so this is the room. Like I said, a lot of these are reproduction dolls. I do have the boxes for all of them. Uh, there may be a few like the ones on the toy chest that I don't have boxes for, but the ones on shelves, I do have the boxes for. And I am really pretty happy with the way this room has turned out so far. So, like I said, just wanted to give you a quick update and let you see what we've been up to. Um, when he gets the whole room finished and we get everything else done, I will probably come back up here and let you have another look. Um, I also wanted to say the bed is actually from the 1800s. Um, the lady that gave it to me said that it belonged to her husband in his childhood. It was his childhood bed. And I was just very, very happy to have that um, because I really like Victorian items. And getting this bed just kind of made my day. So anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below, and we'll see you tomorrow with another daily vlog.